Hey everyone, Jeff here again for Rhinoco Technology. Smart PSS is the name of the software which installs on your Windows, PC or Mac and allows you to remote view, um, playback footage and change configuration settings of your VIP vision, watch guard or secure view video recorder. Um, this can all be done over the internet or on a local area connection. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install Smart PSS on a Windows PC, and then I'm gonna show you how to connect to a VIP Vision network video recorder using P2P, or the serial number, basically. Anyway, let's jump across to a PC, and I'll show you where to start. So the first thing we wanna do is go to the RhinoCo website, rhinoco.com.au, and from the support section, you're gonna go over to popular downloads and select Smart PSS. Windows version 2.2. Obviously this version may change by the time you're watching this video and if for some reason uh, this layout is not exactly the same, uh, you basically you just wanna look for Smart PSS version 2.2 or any version and you wanna download that. So that's about 130 megabytes. Once that's downloaded, we're going to open it and we're just gonna say, yes, I do wanna allow this app to make changes to my PC and I'm gonna click, I've read the agreement, and select English for the language. Obviously, it's a good idea to read the EULA before you proceed. Okay, the things that I wanna install here. Okay, so I'm gonna be installing Smart PSS. Okay, and I'm gonna actually uncheck the storage service. The storage service is PC NVR. It's not typically required if all we're gonna do is view from this PC. Um, which that's all I'm gonna do. I'm, if, let's say I've got, I've got an MVR that I'm gonna be connecting to or an IP camera with an SD card in it that I'm connecting to and I do not want to be recording directly on this PC. It's what's gonna be, um, this will be the case 95% of the time. So I'm gonna uncheck storage service and I suggest you do as well. And select next. Okay, next it's gonna ask me for an installation path Okay, and it's gonna tell me how much space it needs versus how much space I have available. Um, obviously, if you do not have enough free space, you'll need to free some up before you proceed, but basically you can just leave all this alone and click install. Now, the installation process will take a moment and we'll just wait for that to complete. Okay, and we're complete. So the next thing I'm gonna do is click, I'm just gonna check the Run Smart PSS option down the bottom here. If you want to, you can check the release notes, but I don't suggest that that's necessary. Click Run Smart PSS and click Finish. What that's gonna do now is open the Smart PSS client. Might take a little while depending on the PC that you're running this on. Oh, it's actually open, it's just open in the background. So just be aware of that. If you don't see it immediately, just check your start bar and just make sure that, your task bar I should say, and just make sure that it's not down there. Okay, so the first thing it's gonna do is prompt me for an admin password. Now this is the password that allows me to log into Smart PSS. Okay, so if you have a shared PC or um, somewhere where you're um, concerned that someone may get access to the PC and thus access to the cameras, you may want to set this password to be obviously something secure and do not check auto login. However, for the majority of people, um, you're gonna to wanna to enter a password in here. Obviously it has to be a minimum of eight characters. Um, let me type something. Um, however, um, once you've done that, check the auto login after registration. Make sure that this is a password you're gonna remember because if it's not, you're gonna to have to uninstall Smart PSS and reinstall it. This does, is, has no relation, no bearing on the password that's on your actual recorder, okay? So this is only the Smart PSS software that we're protecting here because we're gonna be saving our recorder details within the software. So click next. Okay, the next thing it's gonna ask me is for security questions. Um, obviously this is, just, just in case we forget that password that we've had before. Um, honestly, uh, you don't, if, if this is not a PC that's gonna, like it's only something that you're gonna have access to, um, you don't need to worry too much about having secure passwords or secure answers in here. But for the sake of this, um, let's just enter something. So favorite tool, actually let's select something else. What was your nickname? Something that's probably not hard to guess. Um, and we'll go, my first pet was dog and the name of a favorite fruit. 
apples and finish. Okay, and you'll see that that will automatically log in. Now, first up, it's gonna run through some basic information about the, this version of Smart PSS, okay? I'm just gonna close that. And you'll see that it's opened up to the devices page. This is the first page that we're gonna be interested in because this is where we're going to add our device. However, before we add our device, we actually need to know some information about it. Now, as I mentioned earlier, we're going to be adding a device using P2P, okay, or the serial number. So that's something that we need. We need to actually know the serial number for our device. So let's jump across to our recorder and I'll show you um, where to get that information from. So here's, oops, not the recorder. That's the recorder there. Okay, so if I'm, this is just a VIP Vision 4 channel uh, network video recorder. First thing I need to do is just right click and select main menu and I'm gonna log in. I'm gonna log in using my pattern password, but you could use a regular password as well. So what we need to do is we need to go to network and then we need to select P2P. Okay, so obviously, you know, you may find that once you first get to this section, it'll show you TCP IP. We need to let, select P2P. Now I'm gonna assume that you've already set all of our network, well, you've got the network on this device set up already and um, that you do have connect success up here. Basically this means that the device is able to connect to the internet um, and it's able to register and we can actually use the SN or the uh, serial number to connect to this device uh, from our smart PSS client. If you do not have connect success up here, either you don't have internet access at that site, at which point you're gonna actually have to connect using the IP address of the recorder instead, um, or you haven't configured your TCP IP settings up here properly, okay? Or it's just, maybe it's just not plugged into your router. Um, just a few things to check. But for the sake of this, I'm gonna suggest I'm going to um, expect that this is already set and you've already got connect success. Okay, so what we need to copy down is our serial number or our SN down here, okay? So in my case, 2L056B7PAZX870B. It's important that you get this, write this down and make sure that you have the exact serial number. Double check it, make sure it's correct. Okay, once we've got that, we need to jump back to our PC and we need to enter that serial number. Now, I have already written this serial number down, so I'm gonna copy it and paste it in. Okay, so as I said before, 2L056B7PAZX870B. Now, obviously make sure you enter your serial number in here and not mine. Now, the device name, well, I'm going to name this just demo, but you, demo, but you may want to name it home or work or 23 Fleet Street or whatever you've got. Um, everything else we can leave except for the username and password. Okay, so again, I'm expecting that you already know your username and password for this machine. Um, if you don't, uh, you should consult whoever configured the machine for you. By default, you're only gonna have the admin account, so that's what I'm going to use here. So admin, A-D-M-I-N, and I'm going to enter my password and I'm going to select add. Now that's gonna add a device in here and assuming our PC and our recorder have internet access, what will happen is that the PC will connect to the cloud-based service which will then allow it to connect to your recorder via the serial number. And there you go, we have our NVR connected. You can see that it's a four channel recorder and it's online with that serial number there. So that's all it takes to actually set this up. We're connected now and no matter where I take this recorder, whether it's um, on the local network where this device is plugged in or whether it's um, remotely over the internet, we're gonna be able to connect to our device, obviously so long as both the laptop and the recorder have internet access. Now the only other thing to show you is just to select new here from Smart PSS and I'm going to go through just some of these, just a brief rundown of what's here. So live view, that's gonna allow us to live view our cameras. Access control and intercom are for obviously access control and intercom devices. Um, video for video wall devices. Events, if we wanted to um, view events from the recorder, so motion detection events, things like that. Uh, time and attendance, uh, that's again related to access control and face detection is related to special face detection recorders and cameras. 
So that's all for the, the operation of the device, okay? The next thing that we have is search. So search, we have playback. This is just a basic playback functions from Smart PSS. So playing back footage from the recorder. Um, people counting for special people counting cameras. Heat map for special heat map cameras. You can generate heat maps and logs. If we wanna view the logs of our recorder or camera, whatever device we've got connected. Um, as I mentioned before, we can do configuration as well. Um, so we can configure the devices. Um, so basically the devices page that we had back here, the one that we, we added our device to a second ago. Um, device CFG, um, i.e. changing device configuration. So configuration on the recorder or the IP camera or whatever you have connected. Uh, event configuration, so when these events up here get triggered, um, so motion detection, uh, IVS, that sort of thing. Uh, event configuration, sorry, tour and task. So um, if I wanted to set up a tour on Smart PSS, uh, PCNVR, which I mentioned earlier, we disabled when we first installed the program and um, our user configuration for Smart PSS. Um, remember before when we set it, when we first uh, configured and installed Smart PSS. Now, all of these functions um, are a bit too in depth to go into in this particular video. But what I'm gonna do first up is I'm just gonna show you how to live view to start with. So we need to click live view. And you'll see that I've got my demo recorder here. All I need to do is just click and drag that demo recorder in and it's gonna to connect to both of the channels that are currently connected or that I, that I have access to on that recorder. And if we want to, we can actually click this little drop down here and it will expand out. If you have the cameras named, you will actually see them named in here as well. So if I named this particular um, channel here, um, front door and this one here, garage, um, that's what would be showing up here. Whatever you've named them on the recorder side. Um, if I just add one more tab with this plus icon at the top here, I'm gonna show you how to quickly do playback. Okay, so I'm gonna select the playback section and I'm gonna select my demo recorder to select both channels. And I'm going to select, leave everything else here the same and set my date and time or just date really that you want to be viewing the playback from. So next thing to do is click search and it will show up in a green bar down here, much the same way that it does from a recorder. Um, it will show you the footage that's available. And there you go. There's some footage. And we can search around just by clicking it. And as you'll notice, this is only playing back one channel. If I wanted to play back both channels at once, I could just click the sync button here. And then that would play back both channels at the same time. It's worth noting that this is retrieving video footage, um, obviously at mainstream resolution. So four megabit we're looking at here. So eight megabits in total I have. Um, that's fine when we're connected locally as I am at the moment via the um, via a local area connection. However, if you have internet that is not the fastest, let's say ADSL for instance, or a slow uh, NBN plan in Australia or something like that, um, you may notice that this takes a lot longer and is a lot less fluid to search, but that's just the limitation of the internet access that is available. Okay, um, so in this video, just to recap, what I've shown you um, is how to install Smart PSS on a PC from um, the Rhinoco website. So we're gonna, we downloaded it first, we installed it, and then we connected to a VIP Vision Network video recorder. And I showed you how to do live view and playback. If you've got any questions or comments regarding this video, feel free to leave them below. Anything that you'd like to see in a future video, please leave it below as well. Thank you for watching.